Thanks for tuning in. Today I'm sharing a luxury Mother's Day gift guide. So these are gift ideas to gift your mother, your motherly figure, or yourself if you're a mom, uh, because why not? I have 10 items to share, and there are, the price points are, are kind of broad, and so I didn't wanna to focus too much on price points, but I focused a little bit more on different kinds of categories because when we think of luxury, I think you know a lot of us can think about handbags and shoes or things like that, but I feel like there are a lot of other elements that can still count as luxury. So I wanted to focus on, on that a little bit. So let me share my top 10 picks. If you're tuning in for the first time, hi, I'm Katie. I like to do these luxury fashion videos here on YouTube. I share hauls and reviews, but at the end of the day, I share my journey so that we can all mindfully curate our collections. So if you like what you're seeing, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and leave a comment down below with your favorite item. Okay, so like I said, I have different categories. So I'm gonna start off with accessories. And I feel like Mother's Day is a really great occasion to gift jewelry because uh, jewelry usually has that sort of sentimental component to it as well. So you guys have heard me talk about Ana Luisa jewelry in the past. I have a few pieces that I love to wear myself. I am super excited to be working with Ana Luisa again to share these pieces specifically for Mother's Day. I have a few pieces to share here. A uh, few notes about Ana Luisa jewelry. I feel like their jewelry is super high quality, but not at a crazy price point. They're all really fairly priced for the quality and materials that they use. Everything is 14 karat plated gold, and they also have a sustainability mission to be carbon neutral. It's a wonderful piece where you're able to a gift a little bit of luxury to someone but know you're doing it in a good way uh, and taking care of the planet at the same time because that's the ultimate mother right for all of us so I was able to pick out three pieces and I picked these out specifically with my mom in mind so for and I think and I feel like some of these points would be relevant for some of your mothers as well I feel like it can apply for older women, but I'm going to talk specifically about my own mother. My own mother is very particular about the jewelry that she wears, and it's because her eyesight's starting to fail her, so she needs pieces that are really easy to put on. As the years have gone by, my mother has collected enough rings, I think, and she's not someone who wears more than one on the same hand, so I opted not to go for rings. Also, if you don't know the ring size for someone you're gifting it for, it could be a little bit dicey. So that's why I stuck with earrings, necklaces, and bracelets, making sure those were all pieces that she would be able to wear on her own. So let me start sharing some of the pieces. The first piece is in this pouch right here. This is a really nice pouch. I'm used to these black ones that have a push button closure here, but these ones are magnetic, guys. Anyway, this one's like, ooh la la. So inside here, this bracelet is called the Pietro Minimalist Bracelet Cuff, I believe. It has a very unique like knife's edge point. As you can see, it is a cuff, so it is a piece that you're easily able to wear, like put on your own arm, like you don't need someone else to help do the buckle. Um, because that's something that I run into, especially with bracelets. I try to get pieces where I know I can put them on, but like a lot of my favorite pieces are ones that I need help, so I usually then run over to somebody and ask for some help help but this is a piece that you're able to just slide onto your wrist on your own you don't need any assistance it's also a super minimal but very classic piece with a very classic silhouette that I think it would look great stacked with other pieces but also worn on its own and I am really impressed with this piece I'm honestly not someone who really likes the cuff style where it's like a little there's like a little space in the middle but this one feels really comfortable I usually don't like those because as you move your wrist like you'll feel the edge kind of dig in I don't like that feeling but this one is shaped really well that it actually fits really nicely and it doesn't the edges 
just don't bother at all. So this is a really comfortable piece. You can kind of mold it a little bit to fit your wrist even better. So if someone has a smaller wrist, you can kind of tighten it. If someone has a larger wrist, you can also expand it a little bit. I, I almost want to get one of those for myself. This is what always happens, but this is also how I like to give gifts. I like to give gifts where they are pieces that either like I wanted, but I couldn't really like justify getting it for myself so I can give it to someone else and have them enjoy it. Um, usually I like to get pieces that I know the person receiving would be unlikely to spend their own money to get. I feel like that's a true definition of luxury, right? It's like something that you might not get for yourself and that's why I want to be able to gift that to them. I hope that makes sense. Anyway, the next piece is in here and are these beautiful earrings. These are called the Catherine Rivet Hoop and it is a combination of gold studs with rhinestones on them. On these intricate hoops, there's like three of them on one earring post and I feel like this is also a really classic style. It has a little edge to it with the particular studs on there, um, those kind of like pyramid studs, but I feel like overall this is such a nice piece uh, and such a um, such like it adds a little bit of sparkle, but it's nothing too crazy. It's something that you can easily wear for every day and you know, just to have a little bit of interesting things going on with your earrings. Um, nowadays, I find that I don't wear as many earrings. It's probably because of having to wear a mask and it starts to get caught in the elastic that goes around the ears, but uh, that's why I've been gravitating towards smaller pieces because I feel like they interfere a lot less. And so something like this, I feel like is perfect for that as well because it's pretty like not indiscreet, I would say, um, and you're able to fit it over your ear. And then the third piece I picked up is this chain right here. This is called the Leo Regular Long Figaro Chain. And this is a 22 inch necklace with ha that has the Figaro chain on it. And I feel like this is definitely a nice piece because it's longer. It's a lot easier for my mom to be able to put it on by herself. Having the extra length makes it easier to try and you know put it on. When you have like a really short piece and you're trying to put it on yourself and you can't, you feel like you're struggling to find um, the clasp end, it can get really difficult to do that. So the extra length I feel like is perfect for being able to do that on your own. Or even if she asks for help and my dad tries to help her, like it's, you know, again, extra chain so that it's easier to put on. Um, this piece is, will also be perfect for layering. My mom has a lot of necklaces that she's worn for years, so this would be a great layering piece. It's not too like chunky, it's not too loud. Um, it's like, actually like a pretty dainty chain still. For Mother's Day, I figured it would be great to give her a variety as well, like a different combination across uh, like a necklace, earring, and bracelet so that she can mix and match and wear different things on different days when she feels like switching up her jewelry. Again, the price points for these pieces, they start at like $39 and go up from there. But even the piece that costs like $39 has excellent, is like made with high quality materials and the craftsmanship is really great. So it's not like a really chintzy piece that you're giving as a gift. So that's why I highly recommend you check out Ana Luisa and their jewelry pieces for Mother's Day. Uh, they're actually running a Mother's Day promotion. I think it started on the 12th. Um, so you should be able to get 15% off of your purchase if you want to gift, again, your mother, your motherly figure, yourself if you're a mom, um, or you want to drop hints on things that you want. <laughs> um, I will leave a link down in the description box. So check it out um, and let me know if there are some pieces that you decide to get for yourself. So the next item I wanted to highlight in the same accessories category is actually an Hermes scarf. Uh, if you watched my latest unboxing video, you saw that I picked this piece up while I was picking one up for my mom. My mom's birthday is in April, which is why I picked one up for her, but Mother's Day is not too far behind from her birthday. So I wanted to mention these scarves as well. Uh, I still feel like they're a great piece for all year round, depending on like where you're going. Cause sometimes 
again, I found with my mom as she was getting older that um, she would get colder a lot more easily. And because of that, even in like the middle of summer, if we go to like a restaurant, she'll be cold because they're blasting the AC. Like I'm fine, I'm like really comfortable. I'm wearing like short sleeves and shorts and I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, it feels so good inside the restaurant. And my mom is like shivering. So something like this can be perfect for that as well because it is a, a larger piece that you're able to kind of drape around yourself if you need to. You can just focus on keeping your neck warm. So I wanted to highlight the shawl again. Um, the one that I picked up for my mom was the plumes design. I will insert a photo somewhere here, um, which I feel like is a beautiful design. This is the Le Clay bandana style as well, which I feel like is really classic, really pretty. So, you know, you know Hermes is like the place to go for scarf designs and they have really beautiful combination of colors. Like, I feel like Hermes is really well known for their silk scarves, but I would also highly recommend the cashmere blends as well. Just, I feel like they're really versatile. My mom loves hers. And I feel like if you gifted that to your mom, she would love it as well. I don't remember if I mentioned this already, but all of these pieces are things that I have gifted myself. So they're not like, I think these would be good ideas. These are all pieces that I have gifted before. Uh, so they're tried and true, at least for, for me, and I've had success in giving them as gifts. They've all been well received. Moving on to SLGs, I was really impressed with the Louis Vuitton Capucines wallet, uh, the trifold style. I feel like it's a great compact size that you're able to fit all of your cards, you're able to fit cash and some coins, and it had plenty of room for my mom's uses. I definitely don't carry as much cash as she does, but she still definitely carries cash, right? So she needs the cash compartment. She needs the coin compartment, but she also has like cards that she wants to carry. She also has like a ton of those store cards that she still likes to physically carry. So um, the, uh, the Capucine's wallet was really perfect for her. I think that's also a great piece uh, to give as a gift. The Capucine's line is like the high-end line for Louis Vuitton women's wear, uh, women's leather goods. And so the leather is really supple and gorgeous. I love the grain on the leather. I love how soft and sturdy it is. If I were to compare it to like Hermes leathers, it feels very similar to like Togo leather, I would say. Togo or Clomance. The colors come out really beautifully on that leather as well. So that is a wallet that I highly, highly recommend. I checked out wallets from like all the brands, okay? Like I went to Chanel, I went to Fendi, I went to Vuitton, I even stopped by Dior, but there was just something about that Capucine's wallet, the compact wallet, the, the, it looked really elegant, it looks really sophisticated, um, it looks, and the color is really like, it's not like a neon pink or like, you know, neon yellow. It's, uh, it's a really, they have really nice subtle colors that I think works really well for my mom. And it's just such a classic silhouette with the appropriate amount of kind of uh, organization and like usability in there. So that's why I wanted to mention that wallet. Continuing on with the fashion theme, I have one item I wanted to mention for shoes. Uh, for shoes, I feel like Ferragamo is a really great brand to get shoes from. I have a pair of the Vera pumps and that's I like I got those years ago because they were super classic. I wore them for work a lot, which is why I w went with something that classic of a silhouette. But Ferragamo overall makes really great shoes, I feel like, and my mom tends to like their shoes. So uh, they will oftentimes come out with like loafer styles or uh, shoes with like a slight kitten heel, which I feel like is perfect for moms because uh, you know, they, they can't, well, at least my mom doesn't wear like stilettos anymore. She prefers shoes that have some sort of heel to support, uh, but no like three inch stilettos, you know? So um, I would definitely check out Ferragamo. The Vera pumps are always a classic that, are all, that always looks nice. There's something magical about those Ferragamo pumps because they make your feet look so pretty. I'm not kidding. Like they make your feet look so like kind of small and slender and I do not have small slender feet. I do not, but the, the Vera pumps help make that happen. So um, I would definitely check out 
Ferragamo for their shoes. And a lot of times you can also find really good Ferragamo shoes on sale, which is also why I wanted to mention Ferragamo. All right, I wanna move on to an entirely different category, which is like for the home. Of course, one thing that definitely comes to mind are candles, home candles. And I love home candles. I absolutely love them. So when it comes to home scents, I actually have a couple of recommendations I wanted to make. One, of course, is a diptyque candle. They're always very classic. The Bay scent is their most popular scent. Like that's like the namesake scent. Um, and it is definitely a great home scent. It is slightly fruity because I think there's like blueberry in there. It's a slightly sweet scent, uh, but it's not overly fruity. It's not overly sweet. It just has that hint of sweetness to it, which is why I feel like it makes a beautiful home scent. I personally have not encountered anybody who does not like that scent. Like that's a good crowd pleaser and isn't too offensive to anybody's kind of senses. Reed diffusers are another great way to share, like to have a scent in a room. And I really, really, really love these Memo Paris reed diffusers i mean just look at them they are gorgeous they can be hard to find sometimes i remember i went to bergdorf and like a lot of the scents were sold out once um so you sometimes have to kind of hunt them down a little bit but if you can get your hands on them i highly recommend they i mean just look at it it just looks beautiful it's absolutely stunning and the scents memo paris scents are on the stronger side i would say they're like a, a a bit more of like a punch to them but the memo paris rediffuser sets i think are always a great gift there's one more scent related gift that i want to mention and it's actually from diptyque again is actually their car air freshener and i know it's te it's not technically for the home so please excuse me on that, but <laughs> I didn't want to make a separate category just for car, but it's sort of like home related. I think it's always really nice to have a good scent in the car. Now, I'm very particular about the air fresheners that go in cars because the car space is really small. Most of the time, nine times out of 10, the car diffuser, the car air freshener is too strong. My head will start hurting. Like it can, you can get the Glade like, scent that is like fresh laundry or lavender like five minutes i'm in the car and i'm like i i start unplugging them from all of the air vents because it's just too much scent from just coming in that from that one pod in like that space diptyque air freshener is really nice it also looks really beautiful uh in the car it doesn't you know it's not like a bright blue kind of thing that you added to the vent and it's 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 really elegant um, so i wanted to mention this as well in case you've already done a candle maybe you've already done like a home scent and you want to do something a little bit different i feel like the car freshener is also a really i mean that's just that's luxury like imagine every time you go into your car and you smell bay like that's pure luxury just like any experience every time you get in the car you just like have a moment where you like it smells really good so i wanted to mention the car air freshener as well and the last item for the home category is actually silk pillowcases so i've been using silk pillowcases for five years now i think um and this is like one of the prints that they had come out with it's like a leaves pink and blue leaves it kind of reminds me of the beverly hills hotel i've never been there before but it kind of gives me that kind of energy <laughs> that kind of vibe but um these are silk pillowcases from the brand slip i know there are a whole bunch of brands that make silk pillowcases now i can only speak to the slip brand because those are the only ones that i've used but i really love silk pillowcases i definitely think they help my hair not be as tangled i used to travel a lot for work like every week for work and i would stay at hotels during the week and when i came home over the weekend, I'd noticed that my hair doesn't get as tangled when I wake up the next day. It's a lot more manageable and it's easier for me to put it in some sort of hairdo because my hair is not like some rat's nest that I have to like brush out. Why I wanna include these in the gift guide is because I mean, A, they're a really practical gift, but B, I remember when I first tried these, I like started, I told my mom about them. I was like, oh my gosh, these silk pillowcases are really great and she's like, oh like that just seems really high maintenance like why would you get those so trust me like 
this might be something that nobody wants to really spend money on. <laughs> but once you have them, you will like them. You know, like silk pillowcases, I feel like really make a difference. So that's why I think they're a really great gift contender because they are really practical, but they have like, but they will be nice. It's like a little bit of luxury for sure. Um, and also these are machine washable. That's also why I got them. Cause I initially thought silk pillowcases like, oh my gosh, are you supposed to dry clean those? But no, these are machine washable, gentle cycle. And I have like a delicate wash detergent that I use for these and all of the rest of my delicate wash clothes. So yeah, it's really simple to take care of these and then just line dry. The last category is self-care. There are two items that I wanted to highlight here. One is the Chanel hand cream. I believe I mentioned this before as well. I really feel like this is an excellent gift. It is such a luxurious feel. It's like you give yourself a little bit of like a mini spa right there. Um, and it works really well. And I feel like the scent is pretty non-offensive. Um, it's not too strong. It dissipates after a period of time. So, you know, it's, it, it won't interfere too much with what anybody has on at that, on that day. And it's an elegant packaging. I just feel like it's such a good hand cream that it would be a brilliant gift to anybody. Like Self-care is really important these days. We are, spend, we are still spending a lot more time at home. So maybe you're not really able to go to a spa. So this is like a way you can kind of make a mini spa day for your mom for Mother's Day. The last self-care item I wanted to mention is fragrance. I feel like fragrance is something tricky for sure because it might not you know we might not know exactly what the best scent would be for some people um, but i feel like scent is a is a great way to perk anybody up i at least i don't know about you but i feel like when i am home all the time like i don't think about necessarily spritzing on fragrance while i'm home but then if i have like days on end where i'm just home and i'm not doing any of that stuff i start to get pretty down um i, I and i feel like nothing's worth it you know i don't feel like anything's worth the effort and you know you, i just sort of get into that kind of spiral um so i feel like gifting fragrance for mother's day is also a great way to share a pick-me-up right like it can be something that can just be introduced in the morning and as part of their routine it's something new that they can try out that they can look forward to spritzing every day it can turn into a ritual like like fragrance is such a it's like a it's like a little thing that can really boost your mood so I am a huge fan of fragrance I had gifted my mom Atelier Cologne before they used to have and I'm pretty sure they still do they used to have like gift sets where you can get the smaller size that comes with this kind of leather case that you can get monogrammed on the front um, so I, I monogrammed it with mom <laughs> they used to have kits where you can get like two small sizes with a travel case or sometimes it's like one big one small and a travel case so they always tend to have some sort of kit available during like Mother's Day uh, so that you can you know easily gift. I feel like this is a great way for people to explore and try out different scents because I feel like a lot of times people will sort of stay within the comfort zone when it comes to scents. It's like, oh, I know I like vanilla scents, so I'm gonna stick to vanilla scents. Well, sometimes they might be surprised that they might like something that's, uh, let's say, like a little more amber or ha has a little bit of leather in it, um, but they might not naturally go try that out themselves because they feel like they like vanilla scents. So I feel like gifting scents can be a little tricky, but can also be super rewarding because you might be able to help someone find like their new signature fragrance, which is always something I love to do. Um, and Atelier Cologne also comes with these like little personalized cases, which I think is also a wonderful touch. Okay, so those are all 10 items that I wanted to go through, through all those different categories. Some are fashion related, some are more home and or personal care. Um, but I hope you found a nugget of something. Um, even if it isn't the specific item, it could be the category, it could be the type of item that piques your interest, that gives you another idea. That's really the whole purpose of these kinds of videos, so that you can get more ideas. It, it doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be exactly this scarf, you know what I mean? And don't forget to check out Ana Luisa and take advantage of their Mother's Day sale. I'll be leaving a link in the description box down below, so definitely check them out. 
So if you have any questions on any of these items or really anything at all, feel free to leave them down below or head on over to Instagram and I'd be happy to help however I can. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate all of your feedback and support. If you like this kind of content and you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I post new fashion related videos every Sunday and Wednesday. So until next time,